much of the scoreboard tonight was because of all the noise this week around Ben? No, no. No. Do, you think, do you think fans, though, could look at it and say that, well, maybe the Dragons players, if the captain doesn't really want to be there, that maybe some of the Dragons... Oh, look, there's, there's excuses everywhere, mate, if you want them. But it was an excuse before the game, so it was an excuse after the game because of the results. So, no, it had nothing to do with it. Um, we were extremely disappointing and embarrassing tonight. Apologise to our fans who turned up here. Um, definitely not up to standard, not up to the standard we've been playing to the last month. So, yeah, I don't want to make any excuses around that. Ben, you've met everyone in your obligation since last weekend, but this can't be easy for you. No, it's not at all, mate. Um, you know, I'm more just disappointed in, you know, not turning up for Jack DeBellin, to be honest. It's his 200th game and he's a good mate and no, deserves better than that. Obviously, big night for Jack DeBellin. He could have come in here to this media conference. Why did you want to come in here? What, is there a message you want to tell fans or anything you want to say? I'm still the captain of the team, mate, and I'll always show up for my role until that's changed, so I'll keep coming. How keen are you to, to bring it to a head, to work out one way or another and tell Dragons fans exactly what's happening? Yeah, I'm keen to get it sorted out. Um, I have a meeting with the club this week and we'll get to the end of it. Ben, is there a chance this is your last game for the Dragons? Oh, I honestly don't know, mate. Like I said, I have a meeting with the club this week sometime. How tough has the past six, seven days been for you? Oh, it's been a couple of tough days, a couple of really good days. It's a um, bit of a, the old roller coaster of rugby league, and, and tonight can bring you back down pretty quick. Do you find it harder than you anticipated then, just with the emotional drain of back on Wednesday? And did, you honestly wanted to. Uh, I was actually feeling all right, to be honest, coming into the game. Um, you know, I'd done a fair bit of recovery stuff and my body was feeling okay and mentally I was excited to get back to the group. Um, Kari said they had a real good, re uh, good week at training and you know, I was Bombers 200th game. I was excited to get out for that. And, yeah, we just tossed up a pretty embarrassing game, really. The fact that you're running up again to this top of stuff, is that, do you understand that it's going to be criticism and fans going to be upset? Yeah, oh, I definitely get it, mate. I totally understand. The fans are going to be disappointed. Yeah, we've got very passionate fans. and They love this club. and um, Yeah, I'll keep turning up. How open-minded are you about that meeting early next week, Ben? Do you feel like there's anything the Dragons can do to change your mind? Oh, I'm honestly not sure, mate. Um, I haven't had any communication about it. We just said we put it on the burner to, back burner to after this game and we'll meet him. Ryan, do you respect the way Ben's handled himself since last weekend? Well, yeah, I've got, we've got a good relationship, Ben and I. We talk frequently. So he said as soon as he, if he gets through clean, he, he wants to play. So I'm happy, happy for him for making that decision for us. But like I said, there's, there's more people than just being out there on the field. You know, 17, of, 17 of us run out there tonight. And like I said, there was, there was moments in that game where it was, you know, it could have gone either way, really. It was, it was a good quality game, probably up to the first 25 minutes. And then... You know, we just we came up with a poor error on half halfway, and then they went and scored on us, and then it just sort of spiralled out of control after that. And, and you know, forty percent of the ball in the first half, or thirty-eight, I think we had in the first half you know, against a good quality team like the Warriors, who are playing good footy. It's always going to be hard, isn't it? Ben, if you do end up moving on, you work with them every day. How confident are you that that Barton Junior can you know take this club forward for the next ten years? I'm really confident in those kids, mate. Like, we've seen glimpses of their talent. And, things that they can do, it's very special and it's, it's going to take, a, I think, a bit of maturity and you know, growing up and learning a bit more about the game, but they've definitely got it. Sweet, thanks. Nice.